for the cover, um, we need all the pages we have done. I lay them all on top of each other so I can see how thick is my spine. So, um, the how high has the cover to be? So this is an eight and a quarter in the heights and I want to have a quarter inch on the top and a quarter inch on the bottom. That means this one has to be in the heights and eight and three quarters in the heights in the width so um ta -ta 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 -ta. Let me use here one of these lines from my cutting mat. I will have at least a half inch space for my extra hinge and a quarter inch. Um, I will also have some space on my uh, right side and so that means here I have my half inch my eight and a quarter and the extra quarter inch I need a nine inch in the width so spine in the heights the same eight and three quarters so and how thick at least a three inch. I think a three inch. This is about two and five of an eighth now. And I will give them a little bit more space. So I will do this a three inch. Um, the binding, <clears throat> I'm not sure um, how I will do my binding. First, I will cut my chipboard pieces in two pieces in eight and three quarters by nine inch and one for the spine in eight and three quarters by three inch. So, first step. So I have connected two 12 by 12 sheets together and I will start in the middle.
so this is our cover so far <clears throat> before I start to um, decorate or to cover up here the inside I will think about my um, binding because to glue this all over and then another layer of um, of these cardstock could be too much here for that gusset. Um, so I think I will do first my binding and then I will cover up here the front and the back. But uh, like I said, I have to think about this um, and then I will be back. So for the binding, I will do a stack the deck. Um, sometimes I have a little bit um, the fear, especially when my pages are so heavy, is when I um, made a stack the deck that my binding will sometimes or in, in the time it comes off. So I thought I would do a stack the deck but I will have something that secures my binding um, with some wings left and right on my um, front and back, like this. So I will do, um, yeah, some protection wings. I don't know how to call this um, and it looks like this. I will have here my stack the deck with three um, hinges and this will be the secure flap, the secure wings that will be glued here left and right on my um, front and back cover and then there will be on top the pages front and back inside and hold this really really good in the book and this is what we will do together um, for this we need three pieces one is eight inch by eight and a quarter. This will be later on with these three incision cuts. Then we need for um, the stack the deck one piece that measures uh, nine inch by seven and a half and we have to score this on both sides at three inch and three and a half. And another one that measures seven and a half by four inch. And we have to score this only on one side at three inch and three and a half. And I will do this. So, three inch and three and a half. other one three inch three and a half then I turn this three inch and three and a half This is a three inch hinge later to glue on our pages. This will be the half inch that allows to lay our pages as flat as possible. And this is um, a two inch gusset that is um, later on the, will be glued down on our spine. And this is the um, middle part of uh, the album there will be glued down page three and page four three inch half inch and this is um one and a half inch no sorry a one inch and this will be glued down here 
on our binding in the middle. So I will start to glue down here this one on my um, bigger piece and in and because this will be secured with a, another piece of paper I can use um, my liquid glue my art glitter And this goes here in the middle part beside my fold line here. Not over the fold line, beside the fold line. So then this could be burnished down. And this is my stack the deck. Now we come to this one here. This is the eight inch and this is the eight and a quarter. And I measure at the eight and a quarter on both sides, three of an eighth both sides, three of an eighth, so, and I draw here a help line, a guideline. And this distance here is seven and a half. Seven and a half. So, and now we have to do some incision cuts. And we have to do this, we measure at three inch, four inch, and five inch. Again. 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch. So, and I need my cutting knife. And now I cut here at the three inch mark from this line to this line, I made a cut. And I made this a slightly wider because we have to slide in there our binding piece. 
and this needs some space. So, this is number one. The next one. Okay, quick check if this is fitting. I think I will have to cut this a slightly smaller. Yeah. So I will cut from my stack the deck on both sides a slightly bit off so I have this straight and it fits into the incision caps. So just a quick check. And this matches perfectly. Great. Okay. So then I will put here some glue. And here also. This is not good. This is the paper. This is an um, recycled cardstock and yeah, this is not really sturdy. So I have to do this again. So this is um, some recycled cardstock and this is, yeah, 
it's not very good when it comes to crackles so this one crackles really easy so I have here some Tyvek and I will glue down top and bottom a one inch strip of Tyvek to secure this one here from cracking or tearing to do my measurements again the first try out already tears my piece off so and I hope I can provide this now from tearing If you have um, another cardstock or a better cardstock, then you don't have to do this with the Tyvek. This will be not necessary, but in my case, I have to do this. So then I will start again to measure here three of an eighth, top and bottom. Then again, at three inch, at four inch, and at five inch. Three inch, four inch, five inch.
think this is better. Okay, then um, I have to secure also my um, fold lines here. Can I do this with these scotch tape? This is a matte scotch tape. Yeah, this is good. Okay, I will do this here also. Yeah, okay. Next try, we will glue this down, putting some glue in these gussets.
So and I will do the same as I did, I would did um, with my incision cuts in the album. I secure here these outside slit with some double sided tape. And this would be glued down now here inside of our book. So for this I will put some double sided tape. I need the middle of my spine so one and a half is exactly here where the two papers match Now we have to glue this on here, top and bottom about the same space, quarter inch. Let me remove all these backside from my tape. So this looks really good. Um, did we have to cover up this with some cardstock or is this enough to... No, we don't need this. Okay. Um, I will prepare all my uh, pages with some double-sided tape on the back side. And then I will be back. So we can start. I will start with the front cover inside.
So all the pages are in and we can go to the outside, cover outside. And I have for this in reserve this papers. Um, this will be on my spine, but I will do definitely here something over my um, over this edge because I don't trust this paper too much. So I will cut my paper in eight and a half. Yeah, let me cut this at eight and a half. These two also front and back at eight and a half in the heights. And we have here a three inch and I think I will do this with an overhang one and a half inch so that means at six inch I have to cut a six inch strip a six inch piece not strip This will be for my spine.
so this was the spine and the front and the back will be with the same design paper but we will do of course a nice decoration on the front so I will cut this in the same size So, so far the cover and then I have to prepare everything here for my front decoration. I'm not sure if everything will be working like I have this in mind. We will see and um, yeah, I do some preparations and then I will be back. Bye bye. So we are going now to the decoration of the front cover and um, for this I have an idea. I will do a three-dimensional decoration on here and I will do something like this. I don't know how to call this a bullseye. I don't know. Um, and for this I have I've had only one of my original papers that I want to have on top of my um, cover. So I made some copies um, here. I copied this image and I will have uh, four circle cutouts and um, to do this in three dimensional I have here these chipboard pieces. These chipboard pieces are um, actually from um, a mini album from Mintai where you have six of these chipboard pieces and one decorative for the front. Um, I don't want to make um, an album out of these things, so I will use this for my decoration for this cover here. Um, we need four of these chipboard pieces and the measurements are about six and a half by, uh, sorry, um, seven and a half by seven and a half. <clears throat> we need four of these and we need four copied papers and we need the original paper and we do these cutouts and this goes on here but I'm not sure if you can see this um, the circle from my chipboard is a quarter inch not not really a quarter inch I think it's in one of an eighth 
bigger than the circle from my paper. Um, I have here my measurements that I need. We need four of these circles. Um, I named this one, two, three and four of course and this is a try out and this was the circle number four, the smallest one. So we need one circle that measures design paper six inch. One that measures design five and a half. One design paper at five and one design paper at five and a half, at four and a half. Um, the chipboard pieces, we need one circle six and a quarter, one five and three quarters, one five and a quarter, and one four and three quarters. Um, I have my measurements in centimeters because my tool that I have to uh, make these circles is in centimeters. And for those who um, measure in centimeters, we need from the design paper um, one circle 15 centimeters, one 14 one 13 and one 12 and for the chipboard it's a half centimeter bigger so 15 a half 14 a half 13 a half and 12 a half so um yeah this was number four to make these circles really all in the perfect measurement and, and on the perfect um, spot. I have marked on both sides. I have to do this on both sides because um, my blade is not deep enough to cut in through all these chipboard and this is about a 1 16th or um, yeah two or three millimeters um, in thickness and my blade is not deep enough so I have to cut this from both sides and I did exactly the same on my design paper and I will do one design and one chipboard with you together so I go from corner to corner And make a mark. Next corner to corner and make a mark. Other side the same corner to corner and here the same. And I have one design paper to do. And I did the same only on the back side. This is thin enough. And then we will cut. Let me just make here one, two, and three. This is a four, three, and two. For number one, the biggest circle chipboard. Um, this is later a six and a quarter, or in centimeters, a fifteen and a half. Um, I will 
make this 15 and a half and this is also the um, biggest circle I can do here with these tool and I have here on my tool in the middle um, no, 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 no. there is these cross and this I will layer exactly here on this middle point and then I will cut my circle sorry for the hat but I have to see that I am really in the middle so then I will cut this Backside again. Sorry for my head. And if I am good, this one will pops out. <clears throat> so, number one, number two will be the five and three quarters or a fifteen and uh, a fourteen and a half, so one centimeter smaller. Second. So again, nicely on my point. number two and number three this is the five and a quarter or a thirteen and a half centimeters yeah this is good And number three. So I will distress the edges so you will see this a little bit better. But I will do now, this I will keep, maybe I can do with this something else on another project and now we have to cut the um, design paper <clears throat> this is number three so 
13 centimeters or um, 5 inch And this is number two and for this we need um, a five and a half or a 14 centimeters This was number two. And for the biggest one, for the biggest one, um, I will use the original in the original size. So this will go over my edges. And to give this one a little bit more stability or, th or strength, I will glue this on some cardstock, on some um, normal cardstock. Why did I do this and not only glue these two on top of each other? If I cross the, uh, I don't know how to call this, the fibers in the paper um, in the different direction, so they hold better than to do this like this. So it's, ac it's across, the fibers across of each other and this holds better, it's stiffer. I hope I can um, explain this good. And now I glue this one here on top and then I will cut around and then we will cut our circle. And this is now really stiff and um, has for me the best stability I can do without to glue some thicker chipboard behind. So, and we have to do exactly the same. I have to make here a mark on my back side. Could be also on the front because we will not see this mark because we cut this off. And this will be the circle number one. And this is a six inch or a 15 centimeters. So I have to go back to the 15 in my case.
and this is my top piece okay the next step is that I will distress all my circles around and um, yeah so okay now it looks like this and I will start to glue down the design paper for my um, here chipboard and I need number four this one and this fits here on my chipboard maybe yeah, this is good And for number one, I will wait. What I see now is that I have here a little bit of an overhang on all of my pieces and I will cut this off. Because I will have here a nice and really clean edge. So, four, three, Two. And this will be number one. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me see. I will have some more decorations. Let me use a clam. Now we can start to see what did I have here with these cutouts. Okay, let us start. I have a kind of a concept, hopefully. Um, I cut off another one of these um, copied papers for my background and I thought why do we not make a kind of a shaker um, out of these uh, bullseye? And I think this is a good idea. So I need the number four. This is this one. And this we will glue down here on the back side. Let me make here just a quick mark where I have to glue down 
my piece. So, and I have tried to do this here. You see this little butterfly, and here is the same butterfly that they match really nice. And I will do something here on the back side. And I'm not sure if I want to use here these, how did you call this, tippy or tent? I don't know. I think I call it a tippy. I glued this one down. Or I have here from the front cover, from the 12 by 12, this is this one here. Or I will use this one. I am not sure what to do. Um, I think this one is nicer. Let me just fussy cut. A little bit more here of these white off. This is too much white for my taste. So just a quick fussy cutting again around here. So I try to do here some glue on the corners because when I make a shaker card out of these, um, my sequences will get stuck under these frame. So I will try to do this. now close I think this is enough for the first layer so I would glue my back side
on here. So, and then I can start with the next layer, and this will be number three, this one. And I thought here, this, I will put on here. Maybe some flowers.
so I will stop for now to put here some more on because um, there will be of course the top layer and <clears throat> in case that we want to make um, a shaker card we have to do here um, some clear sheets and I have here a leftover Try to close this as best as I can. This looks really pretty, really pretty, 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 pretty. So we have to put in there some sequences.
so I will stop for now. Oopsie. Um, I don't want to overdo this. Why are you not stay in there? So maybe I can do something here on the spine. So that's it, finish. I don't do anything else. I don't want to overdo this. And I have to fix this. Um, I don't know how to do this, but this already stretches my nerves. Um, and I will go um, the last one through all to my pages and I want to see if I have everything decorated. And then this one is finally finished. And I see you on the next project. Bye bye.